as always, everything starts off well brilliantly. For the first year, everything were all right. And then little cracks started appearing. Uh, we just rubbed each other up one way, and then she was really aggressive, and then which brought it out in me and myself. I mean, when I was brought up, my dad was a bit strict. We we got like, we didn't get told if we got a slap. I got a punch in the head for us, which you found it acceptable in them days. But yeah, it, she brought it all out to me and was as bad as each other, like scolding me, trying to stab me, and mutting me. So I did it back. I punched her in the head, chucked it into a door, strangled her. Well, I didn't straight away. Just you put up with it because I thought I was in love with her and I loved her. And, no, I thought, like, this is normal, most people do this, because it was my first proper relationship. But when people start telling you it's not normal, police are getting called out every two minutes. It's me getting locked up all the time for it. And that's when I realised, that's not right, yeah. I'm one getting locked up and she ain't. Because I never reported out, I never complained. I just put up with it, I just personated everything. <laughs> it's the wrong way to go about it, obviously, but at the time I didn't realise. Seek help. Don't leave it till the last minute. Uh, don't think any less of yourself because you're a bloke and you should put up with it. It works the same for both of you. It'll go in your favour if you do ask for help. Don't sit there and suffer in silence or just think you can put up with it. It's the back because that's just wrong. Just, yeah, you get help. <laughs> well, it's too late for me now. I lost my kids. But if I can help anybody else by saying, don't do what I did and just don't sit in silence. Don't just put up with it. Don't persevere. Just actually ask somebody. Phone police, phone a social worker yourself if you have to. Because, well, I've lost my babies, haven't I? I'm not going to see them till they're 18 now. It was like too little, too late. By the time I realised what was happening, it was happening. And court case had already started and I didn't take it serious. And yeah, it was, it was too late. We split up. I didn't, didn't say what I should have said. And she lost kids anyway, which I know would have happened. It took a year and yeah, she, we lost babies. So if you can get help, get help. Compared to that. Calm. Uh, yeah, better. Girl and we now. Uh, no domestic violence. If we, when, uh, if we argue, go in another room. If you feel like you get, if it's getting too heated, just go in another room. If you have to go out for a walk. If you can talk about it. But, yeah, don't, don't just resort to screaming and shouting at each other. Don't smash doors through. Don't grab her or shout. Don't belittle her. Just keep things calm if you can. If you don't, if you feel like you can't, just leave. Walk away, leave. Don't let it build up to something that it don't have to be. Because back then, I used to just bite and shout and scream and shout. Then sometimes we'd hit each other and you get to know her. If you can, yeah, just keep yourself calm. Count to ten and walk away. But sometimes you've got to, you've got to go on a course like this sometimes and see what other lads have been through to realise, yeah, you're not safe. And yeah, so if you can do it, do it. If it helps you, get it. Yeah, that's actually yeah. Learning how to cope. Whereas just, instead of just shouting and screaming straight away, just don't. Just, I've learned like, you just, you don't have to sh shout and scream to get your point across. You can do it in a calm manner and just talk to people. You get a lot further by being like that than you do, just shouting and screaming and threatening people. You don't get you nowhere. Just don't bottle it up. If you've got something to say, say it, basically. Yeah. If you feel like you've got no way to turn, no family at all, there's people out there who can help. There's courses like this. Those are Riley. If you phone up and come, you'll see that, yeah. Just even if no sessions here will make a difference here. If you want to turn up, turn up. There's people out there if, if you want help.